pacing himself that way, too, because he faded in the late rounds of his preceding bout in the 11th round TKO loss to Antonio Hernandez, in which Tico was leading on two scorecards at the time at which the fight was stopped. And so it's in his best interest to try to save something for the later rounds against Floyd, who, for his part, believes, based on what Uncle Jeff and Floyd Sr. have told him, that Tico will fade after a faster early pace. I think what has happened is that like a guy duck hunting, you're just waiting. You gotta wait, you can't hit anything. And you find yourself waiting too long. This guy's so fast, dynamic. Do you think you're gonna miss? I'm gonna miss this, so I'm just gonna wait for a good shot. Right hand over the top lands for Juco. Second round, not a bad one. Didn't make that clear. It is. Yeah, Oscar did make it clear that, in his view, certain people are leaving the Deloya boat after this particular voyage. Part of his new transformation, he says he wants to cut, cut his team down from about 20 to 4. The box numbers showing that Justin Juco is getting a little bit more comfortable. He only landed three punches in the first round, but landed 11 in round two, and actually threw four more punches than Floyd Mayweather. Floyd doesn't try to throw 65, 70 punches around. He's pretty measured in his output. He's, he's seen the rewards of being a puncher, so he's, he believes that he can take you out any time. Good, good punch by Mayweather, just a little bit high. More and more, it looks as though that quick counter right hand over the top of Juco's jab is the primary item in the recipe for tonight. Got to load you a little bit. He doesn't do anything for a couple of minutes, and all of a sudden he unloads with something that shocks you. It makes you think you're slipping, but you're not slipping, you're hurt. Mayweather blocking or partially blocking all of Juco's shots here. Juco glancingly lands the right hand over the top, but... Now, he has to do a lot of damage, and then Mayweather lands the right-hand cover. Mayweather's found the pocket now. He's not stepping and jumping back. He's getting closer. And that's what you don't want him want to happen. The Juco is best start moving and jabbing a bit more to throw him off of a rhythm. And you saw Floyd step right up in Juco's face, wait for him to throw the left hand, and then pop the right. Yeah, well, what has happened to you, Juco now should start jabbing and moving out of the way, make him re-establish the pocket somewhere else. And step back a little bit and make him change. Juco can very well win. He got to think, he, I can win this thing too. It's an opportunity. <laughs> Sometimes you can get into a fight with a fast, classy guy like Mayweather and start looking just like the audience. Forgetting that you came here to win. Again, the right hand counter over the top. Mayweather dropping and splitting his hands from time to time to try to invite Juco to come in. Juco best start moving around, do something, just to change things up and make Mayweather reach at him a little bit and miss. And that's exactly what Jeff Mayweather told his nephew that Juco would do. That he would do the same thing round after round and he would give Floyd a chance to time it. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Do you know what it is? What I love about him is, you know, we always talk about ring generalship. The first round, he had, uh, Mayweather had Justin Juco looking for left jab, and then he gave him that variety. He started throwing right-hand leads. In the second round, he switched to south, or he threw left hooks underneath. So he's showing Juco such a variety. Juco just doesn't know what to look for, and that's great gen ring generalship. The judges have to consider that. Yeah. Now with a landing, a little left hook inside. Missing with the right as Juco backed away. Now Juco getting more aggressive and Floyd gets a chance to crack him. Two right hands. That last round hand might have gotten Mayweather's attention a little bit, but it also gets him riled up to land his own. You've got to learn in this weight division, especially Mayweather's, you just can't let those guys hit on you, especially around your side and your body. The fight goes on five, six.
six rounds of energy that you thought you had already evaporated. He's allowing him to jab him in his chest now. No, you don't need that. Jab in the chest, jab in the belly. Good, hard digging left hook to the body by Mayweather. Juco comes back with a right hand shot to the body himself. Right. Mitch Halpern says keep him up. Boy, right uppercut, just a tiny bit short. Like everything that Mayweather's doing, but allowing himself to be hit around the side and the chest. It's not good. Like that. This is only so he's waiting for Juco to do something so he can counter it. In the meantime, he sometimes allows himself to be hit. If the fight goes beyond six rounds, then those little punches count up. Juco is solid. He's not the best, but he's solid at what he does. Um, you know, the Mayweather has got so much talent, you know, so much zest for the game. And it's just a question of how he's going to win this fight rather than whether he's going to win this fight. But when you're a solid fighter like that, you get thrown out four or five rounds. You can really pick up things in the six, seven rounds. That's the way you beat talented fighters. Let them use their talent against themselves. Tonight on HBO's World Championship Boxing, you're looking at two of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport, Floyd Mayweather in this bout, Oscar De La Hoya, later to come this evening. For round number four, Floyd Mayweather landing nearly 60%, 22 out of 38. But Justin Juco much more active, throwing 61 punches and landing 21. So Juco's beginning to make a fight of it now against Mayweather as we go to the fifth. Juco jumps off his corner. His eyes are not dim. Spirit is still up. That's not good for Mayweather. You know, uh, looking at him, I can't help but think of his countryman, John Mugabe, who gave Marvin Hagler one of the best fights of Hagler's career here in Las Vegas back in the 80s. Uh, if they've come over from Uganda and they've made a professional life here, they must have a lot of toughness to begin with. After you've devastated a guy in the fashion Mayweather has done early on, his eyes should be looking to the floor, he should be watching his corner men to see how he feels, but that has not happened to him. Now, this is a terrific opportunity. First of all, he's making more money by far than he's ever made in his life. He recorded $75,000. And it's a terrific opportunity to get exposure, and if he makes a good showing, we could see him again. So he's got all the motivation in the world. And if he loses, well, he's taking the fight on three days' notice. Some of the people who worked to help Gregorio Vargas get the chance to fight in this fight were infuriated that he chose to drop out on such short notice. And one of them even piped up and said, I hope he never gets a chance like that again. Meanwhile, I think the consensus of experts at ringside would be that Juco is probably a tougher opponent for Mayweather at this moment in his career. This fight has turned. Been. I want you to know this fight has turned already while we were doing all the talking. Yep, it's a different fight already. Mayweather well, Juco's got getting comfortable. Yep. And he's been able to get in some of those shots, and it's because of the earlier body punching. But now Floyd Mayweather rocks him back with a right hand. And Floyd, who was able to finish against Angel and Freddie, with the help of a questionable stoppage down in Florida, looks for a moment to try to do the same against Juco, but then goes back into the pocket and gets back to business. He's got, he's got to understand, man, whether if you get an opportunity to get a knockout, you better do it. You can't play with these guys. And Juco better take advantage of his opportunity and may not come back in the next two rounds. So you'd like to see both men be more aggressive right now? Yeah.